What's going on, Overly Sports? Back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be previewing the 2022-2023 Toronto Raptors season as it will get set to begin tomorrow when the Raptors take on the Cleveland Cavaliers at home. Um, of course, for the home opener, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. Um, it's going to be an exciting game. Barnes versus Mobley, of course. It's been a um, pretty good rivalry so far. Um you know, in the first season, and it looks like it's going to be in the second season of these two players, but, um, you know, in this video, I just want to talk about what I expect from the Raptors this season, and, you know, what I think is going to happen, it's going to be an exciting year, a fun one, and I expect this team to be very good, um, I'm going to have tons of Raptors content, tons of Leafs, Blue Jays, and New York Football Giants content coming out on the channel, um, of course, in, um, in the coming days, um, and, you know, down the road, it's not going to stop, it's going to pick up, it's going to be really busy on the channel, so hit that thumbs up button, and of course subscribe to the channel for all the new content, but let's get right into things. I expect the Raptors to be a great team this season, um, the Eastern Conference is definitely very tough, we all already know that, but um, I think the Raptors are a top 4 or 5 team in the Eastern Conference, I really do, I think that they're a team that um, you know, if they can stay fully healthy, they could be, you know, one of those top teams in the East. I think they can win, you know, 50 plus games. I think they're that good. You take a look at what they were a season ago. Um, you know, they, they were, they were a solid team. Um, you know, and they finished at that five spot in the East. And, you know, I think they just got better. I, I you know, they won 48 games last year, finishing fifth. They were just like a game or two from being second or third. So it was tight, and it's right in there. And I think it's going to be similar this season. You know, I think it's going to be tight right all the way to the end. Um, you know, I think that the teams between one and seven in the East aren't going to be far apart. I think it's going to be maybe a 10-game gap between seven spots. So, um, you know, it'll be real tight all the way down to the end of the season over there in the Eastern Conference. But I do expect the Raptors to win more games than they did last year when they won 48 I think they win 50 to 55. I think they're right in that range. Um, and I definitely think that there's no reason to think that the Raptors didn't get better. They didn't lose anybody. They only added to their team, of course. And they gained a year of experience, of course. Um, they picked up guys like Otto Porter Jr., Juan Hernan Gomez, um, of course, the rookie Christian Coloco. Um, you know, another, you know, another year of Scotty Barnes, Gary Trent Jr. to improve and um, and grow uh, is definitely going to help. The Raptors definitely lacked some depth last season, but you know I think right now if you look at what their team looks like, they're definitely looking more deep. Of course, we know what that starting lineup is going to be. It's going to be the Fred Van Vliet, Gary Trent Jr., OG Ananobi, Scotty Barnes, Pascal Siakam starting five, and then you look beyond that, and the Raptors have some depth, of course, with Chris Boucher, Precious Achua. Thaddeus Young, uh, Otto Porter Jr., Juancho Hernan Gomez, Christian Coloco. Um, you know, you could look even beyond that. Delano Ben, Ken Birch, um, Champagny, Flynn, um, Ron Harper Jr. Um, did look good in the cup, in, you know, in the you know short bits and pieces that we were able to see, um, you know, in that preseason action. But you know, you look at where the Raptors were last year in terms of, you know offense and defense compared to the rest of the league they're obviously one of the better you know defensive teams in the league there's no question about that um you know I don't think anybody's questioning that I think the Raptors are definitely that good of a team defensively I think we're a top three to five team in the NBA defensively um you know there's that is pretty obvious given that you know uh we have a bunch of six eight, six seven, six eight, six nine guys that just, you know, play really tough. They get their arms in the way. They, you know, we're lengthy teams. You know, kind of an exotic looking team. And, um, you know, I definitely think that uh, they're a team that defensively could carry them to win basketball games. And offensively, you know, they're not bad at all either. So you take a look at you know player stats for this team, Van Vliet. Pascal, um, you know, those are guys that are easily going to put up 20 points per game minimum this year, I think. 
Um, I don't think there's any question about that. I think Gary Trent Jr. could do that as well. He was just a point and a half away from doing that last season. Um, you know, so um, I think this team is only going to get better, like I said, not only this season, but, you know, for years to come. You take a look at what, um, you know, they were able to do with their, you know, player developments. Of course, Scotty Barnes and, and Gary Trent Jr. Barnes averaged um, over 15 points per game. OG averaged over 17 points per game. And like we said with Gary Trent Jr., 18.5 points per game. You know, you'd expect that to pick up a bit and those guys to add a couple points per game to their totals. Um, and, of course, you look at a guy like uh, Precious Achua. He's going to only get better. He's shooting three ball a lot better. He's looking real good there. Um, you know, so um, we'll see ultimately what happens. But like I said, I think the Raptors are going to be a really good, really solid team this year. Definitely make the playoffs, not to play in. They'll be a top five team in the East, and I think they could do some damage and go on a playoff run. Anytime you have this kind of depth, anytime you have this type of, uh, you know, coaching staff, and that can really will your team to win games and make the just adjustments needed to win, and have the front office, you know, you know that the Raptors have, they're not scared to make moves, they're not scared to do things. Um, you know, you know, I think a lot of these guys are only going to get better. Like I said, um, you know, in terms of the contract situations, I know people are going to want to hear about it. For Van Vliet, I think he's going to you know, be a Toronto Raptor beyond, um, you know, this season and beyond next season. I think he's going to be a Raptor for a long time. Same with Pascal. Gary Trent Jr., there is a little bit um, of concern, but the Raptors do hold its contract rights. Of course, he's in RFA, so I'm not too, too worried about Gary Trent Jr., though. Um, I do, um, you know, I do think he... You know, it's going to get money. You take a look at what guys like Jordan Poole, Tyler Hero, Andrew Wiggins got. I think Gary Trent Jr. is in that range. Um, he's as good as those guys there. Um, we'll see ultimately what ends up happening. Of course, he has a player option next season. I would expect him to decline it and get a longer term, more money deal. Um, but I do think that this team is going to be, um, you know, the same team moving forward. They're, they're not going to lose. They're only going to gain guys. And that's really good to know. But... In terms of this season, you know, it's going to be a really excited, exciting season. I'm really looking forward to it. And like I said, I think the Raptors win 50-plus games, finish the top five in the East. And I think they're going to be a surprising team that a lot of people got to look out for as no one ever talks about the Raptors, but you better watch out. And, you know, home court such a big advantage because of the fans we have, best fans in the NBA. Um, so, you know, and I think that this Raptor team is better than a lot of people make them seem, and they could go for a run in the playoffs. Um, so look out for them. This is one of the better teams in all of the NBA. Definitely a top 10 team. But guys, that is all you got in this video. You guys let me know down in the comments section your thoughts on the video. What do you expect? What do you think is going to happen this year, uh, season for the Toronto Raptors 2022-2023? Put some predictions. Let me know all that good stuff down in the comment section. As always, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We'll see you guys on the next video. And as always, let's go Raptors.